Greetings! It's me, Zerg, back with another open world farm for my Worth It series. Today, I have left the mainland and found my way to the Isle of Giants. I had heard the transmogs over here were of the unique troll variety. The Dynabones over here are pretty good if you want to make some quick gold. Going forward, I have decided to provide a bit more information in my videos regarding what drop and farms I show. Now I will show the transmog pieces and how they will look as well as wowhead average prices. Since they are transmog, they will vary from realm to realm. On my realm, Hypondrius. They are pretty much selling for double what Wildhead suggests. So if you're a gold maker looking for a new transmog angle, consider this farm. Just note that these very same pieces also drop on the Isle of Thunder. Here's the class set you can get. It looks like you can only get the chest, shoulders, and mouth. The Forlorn Loa is the blue color set and is worth about 1 to 4k average, while the Faded Spirit Retcher set is a red free color. I could not find a screenshot of the full set as one on the full model. Here are the individual screenshots of the respective pieces. The chest piece is selling for 2 to 3k. The helm is selling for 2k, and the shoulders are selling for 2 to 4k. I really like the blue set, but this set in both colors really looks nice, especially on the female model. The Time Warm Shadow Tooth is the leather set you can get from these mods. The helm and chest piece are worth about 20 to 30k, while the shoulders seem to be worth about 40 to 50k. The boots and belt don't seem to have significant data on how much they are worth, while the pants are worth 10 to 20k. And here is something you don't see every day, the gloves and wrists are both worth about the same, around 10k average. Usually wrists are worth a lot more in most markets, and it never ceases to amaze me that something that covers so little is usually worth so much. If you can get one of these pieces to drop, you can expect a pretty penny in funds from the auction house or learn it yourself to look like a badass troll assassin. Oh right, let's not forget about this gem. The Blood Tusk shoulder pads are a singular piece that doesn't have a full set, but sell for a hefty 30 to 50k. The Brittle Flame Reaver is the name of the male set. It looks pretty cool, but is worth considerably less than the leather set. The chest is worth about 6 to 12k, the shoulders are 12 to 16k and the helm is 17 to 30k. It's kind of surprising to me since the shoulders are usually worth a lot more than the helm in most cases, but the helm does have a lot going for it. The wrist and gloves are selling for around the same price at about 5 to 9k, and the belt doesn't seem to have enough data but appears to be worth about 11 to 12k. The Brillo Flame Reaver's leggings are really just a long male kilt favored by many shaman, but hunters? I am not so certain. These are selling for about 8 to 9k on NA and 13 to 14k on EU realms. And as for the boots, there isn't enough data on just how much they are worth on either region and have a guess price of 10.7k. I came over here in war mode for less competition, although I did meet someone who came out here just for Undusta but I felt like he was more afraid of me than I was of him. Yep, definitely not the other way around. The plate set is called the Tarnished Fanatic, and these pieces definitely have some high value to them. The helm averages 15 to 20k, and the shoulders average 19 to 25k. The chest piece, despite not being slut log, is actually selling for an average of 28 to 38k. Briss, the tiniest transmog in magic, is selling for more than the gloves at 18 to 24k. All the gloves, they're selling for 12 to 17k. Can someone message me in the comments 
why this is. The belt itself, if you look closely, actually looks kind of cool and is really detailed, which makes its price average of 20 to 27k understandable. These pants literally have images of skulls on their thighs. I wonder how the Chinese pieces look. Do they have loaves of bread on them? Anyway, the legs average 10 to 27k gold. These boots are actually kind of big, which would make the price understandable unless, of course, you have a race that removes the majority of the boot and they are just essentially ankle wraps. But man, these are huge ankle wraps. The price of these stompers are 37 to 54k on average. The arsenal of weapons that can drop from these mobs is actually more extensive than I thought, and the pieces look pretty awesome. Okay, like the armors, I will provide a picture showing how they look and the average price tag for both NA and EO regions. The Chiseled Fangs is a dagger that has a cold darkness effect and sells for 13k on NA and 6k on EU. The Ritual Head Cleaver Halberd looks awesome in my opinion, with a flame effect. It appears to be oversized, which gives it even more value. This whole arm is worth 33k on NA and 19.5k on EU. The Corroded Hacker appears to be a massive one-handed axe that looks beaten and battle-worn. This weapon appears to have very little price tag and appears to only be worth about 4k, but if it has a low supply, you might be able to raise the price of it. There are people out there who would love one-handed weapons that look like they are a bit on the oversized side. Discarded Strike Blade is listed as a dagger. I thought this thing was a sword. This bad boy is going for 9k on NA and 5k on EU. The Dull Hawk Talons could have gotten a better name than that honestly, but it looked decent enough. They are worth 10k on NA and 5k on EU. This is the Hex Belcher Rifle. I suppose if trolls were to manufacture guns, this would be what they named their rifles. It's a small cannon with tusks, a bayonet, and a dangling feather. Now that I kinda look at it, are those troll tusks? The rifle sells for 9k on NA and 7k on EU. Hexcaster Gavel is bright and shiny while it itself appears to be made of a dark material. I really like the design of this weapon goes for 8k on NA and 5k on EU. This staff by name has the ability to shape the sky. The Sky Shaper Staff is a really big staff by staff standards. It even has a pale green glow at the top. Price data appears to be minimal for this weapon as it only said it goes for about 7k. The Loa Binder Disc is a shield that has a burning fire like effect at the top edge of the shield also has the spinning disc in the center. I have this on one of my many shaman and I love its design. Although it doesn't appear to have the protective nature of most normal shields. It sells for 10k on NA and 5k on EU realms. Here is a wand. Yes, I know. Who the heck transmog is a wand? Someone who comes from an era when wands were more than just a stat stick and appreciate it when Blizzard still tries to give us wands, even if the last time I had a wand while raiding, I accidentally right-clicked to target the boss when we were about to pull it. It wasn't pretty, and my guild told me I am banned from using wands that day for it. This wand looks like a little angry shrunken head. Very troll, much man. Because of the lack of data, it's worth about 3k? Maybe? The defective soul gem staff? Are we using their low-grade weapons and counting them as high-grade transmogs? Well, I guess one troll's trash is another adventurer's epic treasure. This staff is worth 10k on NA and 7k on EU. Honestly, to me, the Thunder Eagle staff looks a bit bland, but I suppose some people like it since it's worth 12k on NA and 10k on EU. It was hard getting a clear screenshot of this dagger. The Sar Jaw Dagger is basically two blades with a really good blue effect covering them. It's worth 10k on NA and 8k on EU, but I honestly think it should be worth more. The Sars Stinger Spell Blade is a double tipped sword with a pink glowy effect. It appears to have a pink glowy face on the hilt, which is a cute touch. 
This weapon is selling for 11k on NA and 6k on EA. The Zandalari Head Cleaver is a tiny axe with a brutal heat-like glow on the axe. It seems what it lacks in size, it makes up for the hot blade effect. It is worth 10k on NA and 5k on EA. Okay, last but not least is the Lady Stone Axe. Honestly, it looks like something Fred Flintstone would use at his quarry job. But who am I to judge? This weapon is worth 9k on NA and 6k on EU. Is this a farm I would suggest you to do? Oh yeah. This is pretty darn good. Bones, reagents, transmogs, pets. It's a huge variety in one. And the big RNG mogs definitely adds to the excitement. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to be alerted when more of my content is released.